Okay, what is the absolute biggest lie in online photography reviews? Let me give you a case in point. I've been talking about one lens recently. And then I'm going to quote somebody. But I've seen this quote hundreds and hundreds of times. Um, just this is one example of countless, okay? The recent 105 uh, F14. Now, there's one thing that is exactly the same between the online YouTubers and some of the big people that have like large uh, websites that review cameras and lenses that they've all said about this lens. Love it, gotta have it, best thing since sliced bread. Okay, that's interesting. Okay? Very interesting. I reviewed it. I said it was horrible, overpriced. I gave examples for everything that I said about the lens. You know what the difference between my review and their review is? I said it was a horrible lens, basically at any price. They said it was the best thing ever. Um, people that sniff lenses, people at various parts of the world. Um, this is a comment left on the largest photography forum. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. I have seen Bleep's reviews, and I've heard of this person. I've never been to their website. And Portfolio, and I respect both of them deeply. He said that the Nikkor AFS 105-14 is the best lens ever from Nikon. That's enough for me to rent and buy the lens. Um, <clears throat> I can't imagine anybody with sincere interest in photography would be deterred by some guy on YouTube. Let me tell you something. I went to the link that this person provided and I knew it would exist there before I went there and right at the bottom of the page on the 105 f14 there is a link taking you to a list of lenses and other cameras and when you click on that it is a hot link now let me ask you something if someone is getting kickbacks from a large there were several of them in New York City and various other places getting kickbacks especially on the really expensive stuff, the, big, the more expensive it is, the bigger the kickback you get. What sort of investment do they have in telling you the absolute truth? I don't know. What does a car salesman have to actually telling you the truth about a car? A, they'll try to sell you the most expensive thing possible that they think you can afford or can finance, and B, they will sell you anything at all rather than lose a sale. This sort of stuff, now this is just one comment of thousands and thousands. Look it, I'm not selling anything. I'm not hotlinking anything. I'm nobody, okay? Let's admit that. Let's just say I don't exist. Perfectly fine. If, if you're going to go to somebody's page and they're going to tell you that this horrible lens is the best lens ever from Nikon, and there's a link below that's a hot link to a large chain in New York City and they are getting kickbacks to puff up their pockets then what sort of idiot are you? I mean honestly I have to ask this question I mean is this rude of me? what is more rude? I would like to you to answer the question what the hell is more rude? someone like me that's giving an honest review of a lens and I give examples citations perfectly methodical or someone else that tells you, hey, you know, I'm, I'm a well-known photographer, I've got a website, and I think this is the best lens ever. By the way, here's a hot link, and if you buy the lens, of course they don't say that, you know, it's going to line my pockets. I mean, what is wrong with you? This is the biggest scam on uh, photography gear in uh, not only uh, online, but any of these people's websites you click on. It's a scam. It is a scam. It's a, it's a damn scam. What is the difference between me, other than being fat, bald, and tattooed, <clears throat> and I've definitely owned and used more lenses than every one of these people that these people refer to. Undeniable. Own more, used more, tested more than all of these people. I am not selling any damn lens. You buy a cheap old lens, you buy a super expensive lens, this lens, for example, don't make a penny. If I don't exist, I want to ask you the damn question. What the hell are you investing your belief into somebody who is hotlinking that expensive lens and is getting a kickback? What is wrong with people? I mean, honestly, answer me the damn question. What is wrong with you? Not you specifically, but what the hell is wrong with people? Oh, by the way, this is the best thing ever, and if you click this link, I'm going to get a kickback. Does anybody... No, do they say that? No. 
the hot links are right there. Now, of course they're going to re- it's a really expensive lens. The kickback is extra sweet. I've worked in camera stores. I've worked in a total of four camera stores. One of them didn't really count as a camera store since it was mostly uh, processing a film. So let's say three, and another one that was almost a camera store. I mean, honestly, what the hell is wrong with people? I went to this link, and this happens all the time. I mean, a sucker and their money are soon parted. A sucker and their money are parted. I want to know to you, which do you think is more angry and more rude? Someone like me that is brusque and truthful, or someone that kisses your ass and has a link on their own damn website, tells you to click on it, and that takes you to a place up in New York City, and it's a hot link. You can tell it's a hot link by looking at the HTML line code, and they get a kickback. Which is worse? My personality, who is not selling lenses, and this isn't a personality contest. I don't tell anybody to subscribe or like me. What the hell is worse? Please tell me, what the hell is worse? My personality or some schmuck? that is being nice and kind to you and telling you this is the best thing ever. Here's a link, by the way, to click on and I get a kickback. Of course, they don't tell you that, but that's exactly what the hell it is. Which is worse? I want to know which is worse. Would you rather be smiled and cheated or would you rather be told the truth by someone that's brusque and doesn't have the best personality in the world? I want to know which one is worse. Let's assume that neither one of them is awesome, okay? You know, neither one of them rank up there with a smiling, drooling baby, you know, that doesn't really have an agenda. You know, the baby just drools and poops and, you know, it looks at you with pretty eyes. And that's why everybody loves babies, or at least all normal people love babies. Which is worse? I want to know. Ah, oh, I've seen this guy's reviews in his portfolio. He says it's the best lens ever. That's enough for me to buy this lens. I'm just reading this. I see this all the time. Please, God, use your brain before you make a decision based upon someone's supreme recommendation that is getting a kickback to line their damn pocket. Am I wrong in thinking this? I don't know. Maybe I should just not, I, maybe I just don't give a damn. You know, screw it. Click on the link. Buy it. Line their pocket. Good. Maybe, maybe W.C. Fields was right and said, you know, um, what, what did W.C. Fields say? He said, uh, never give a sucker an even break. You know, th let these people slip on their own banana peels. You know, the banana peels of stupidity are falling out of their head, and they're tripping on their own banana peels of stupidity. Maybe I just shouldn't give a damn. Maybe I just shouldn't give a damn. In many ways, I kind of don't, you know? If you, if you like something, buy it. But don't buy it based upon the double talk of someone that is trying to line their damn pockets. Okay? Jesus Christ. Really? Really? I mean, this is the biggest scam in online photography stuff. Doesn't matter what website it is. Online photography gear recommendations in general. Oh, here's a hot link. By the way, click on this hot link. Also buy one of my t-shirts. Sign up for my workshop. I don't begrudge anybody trying to pay the bills. I do begrudge people, though, that say nonsense to line their pockets to pay their bills. You know, If you're going to make an honest review, it damn well better be honest.